Hey guys, Hunter Tom here. Today I'm going to go over my personal top 10 best and cheapest 22 air rifles that are available in the United States, as well as my top 5 22 air rifles that are require PAL in Canada. That means they shoot over the 495 feet per second limit. I'm making this video to celebrate the purchase of my new 22. Well, I mean, not really, but anyways, I'm going to attempt to make this video better than the last one. Please keep in mind that even though one, one gun is in first place and one gun is in 10th place, that doesn't mean a thing. The only reason these guns are in this order is because if I were to buy all these guns this month, I would buy them in this order. So just because one of your favorite air rifle is in 10th place, that doesn't mean a thing, okay? These guns are going to be judged under my criteria, which means they must be good for hunting and beginners, and they must be under this criteria. So, the criteria I set for these guns is, one, the gun must be nitro piston, since the, or gas piston, since these are going to be used for extensive hunting periods. 2. It must be over to 750 feet per second. The more the better. I need more FPS for hunting, right? 3. It must come with a decent quality scope. 4. I prefer wood stocks for recoil reduction. 5. The more doodads, the better. 6. The more budget friendly the gun is, the better. 7. If I consider it cool, it ranks higher. 8. I prefer longer barrel for longer ranges and accuracy. 9. The less weight, the better. 10. It has to float around the $100 to $200 mark, and it can't be more than $220. 11. I must consider it as a somewhat good quality gun for beginner hunters and shooters, and it can't be complete junk. And it also must be 22, since this will be used for hunting. Now these guns, you'll probably be able to go for scrolls, use uh, this again, scrolls on pest control, and I think you should be able to go against a raccoon. And that's why I, this is why really I made that criteria. I want good guns and that's the criteria, which will basically judge like personally, which guns will be better. Okay. So if I were to buy all these guns, this is what I would buy first to last. If you have any experiences with these guns, be free to leave that information in the comments below. Thank you. All right, let's get on with the show, starting with the best air rifle in the United States. You can skip ahead to the time mark in the description below if you want to see the best Canadian air rifles. So number one for April this year is a Gamo Maxim Swarm Gas Piston 22 coming in at $200. This gun shoots at around 975 feet per second and has a nice barrel length of 19.9 inches and it comes with a 3 to 9 by 40 scope with a total weight of a mere 5.64 pounds. The thing that stands out for me is a 10 shot repeater bag since that's just plain cool. The specs of this gun is very reasonable and it would be the first gun I would get if I had to choose a good 22 air rifle for hunting this month. I mean, come on, if you gotta reload quickly, if you don't have your pellet pen out, you can always just crank the barrel once and boom, you've got a 22 loaded and ready to go. Save a whole bunch of time. But anyways, the second air rifle of the month is a Crossman Phantom Nitro Piston 22 coming in at $115. The reason I put this gun in second is because it has good specs and is very cheap. The Crossman Phantom weighs 6.4 pounds and it shoots at 950 feet per second. It comes with a 4x32 center point scope and has a 15 inch barrel. I think this gun is very budget friendly and that's why I put it in second place. The third gun of the month is the Umarex Octane Combo Kit coming at $200. I chose this gun in third place since it shoots at a whopping 1250 feet per second and 22 and it has a 19.5 inch barrel which is awesome. It's a bit expensive compared to the other guns but it comes with a lot of cool stuff, and I've heard very highly about this gun. The combo includes a 3 to 9 by 40 scope, and the gun is gas piston. It weighs 9.5 pounds, which is a bit heavy, but it's not too bad. I think this gun is more for that person that wants to shoot squirrels, and also maybe go after some raccoons too. I've heard this gun is capable of easily go shooting across um, a valley at like 50 yards, which is pretty good if you ask me. I think it'd be great for hunting. The fourth best and cheapest .22 hunting air rifle of the month is the Ruger Yukon Scope Combo. It costs $220, which is the most out of all the air guns on this list. I couldn't find any Ruger 22s that were nitro piston for a decent price, and this is the best I could find. So the gun shoots at 1,050 feet per second, and it comes with a 3 to 9 by 32 scope. It has a nice lengthy barrel of 18.7 inches, and it weighs 9 pounds which, with a hardwood stock. I found that yes, this gun costs more than the Umex Octane, but it also has a hardwood stock, so that's why I put it in fourth. And it also shoots a bit less than the Umex Octane, and it costs a bit more, but at the same time it has a hardwood stock, eh, but it also has a shorter barrel, so, you know, it was kind of hard to pick for this one. 
The fifth gun on the list is the Benjamin Trail Nitro Piston, which costs $130. This gun fires at 950 feet per second in .22. The reason I like this gun is that it comes in a wood ambidextrous stock and it only weighs 6.75 pounds. It also comes with a 4x32 center point scope and I think this kit is very reasonable for the first time hunter, which is why I put it in fifth place. The sixth gun of the month is the Black Ops Tactical Sniper Scope Combo that comes in at a mere $170. Well, it's not that mere, it's quite expensive. This is a gas piston 22 that shoots at 1000 feet per second. This gun comes with a bipod and a 4x32 scope. It has an 18 inch barrel and weighs 9.6 pounds. The reason I put it in sixth place is because it weighs a bit too much and it sort of looks cheap and plasticky. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems cheap. The reviews are good, but I think it's a little pricey for what you're getting. The seventh gun of the month is a Benjamin Trail Nitro Piston coming in at $123. This gun shoots at 950 feet per second and weighs 8.3 pounds. It has a synthetic ambidextrous stock and it comes with a 4x32 center point scope. The reason I put this gun in seventh place is because it weighs a bit more and I think you could do better with something like the Crossman Phantom if you want to save a bit of money. It's still a very reasonable price but you do save a bit of money if you go for the Phantom. I mean, really, come on, you're only saving $4, but it comes down to which brand you want to go for. You either want to go for Benjamin, or you either want to go for the Crossman. It comes down to the brand, guys. The eighth best and cheapest .22 hunting air rifle is the Gamo Silent Stalker Whisper, coming in at a hefty $200, with the regular price of two uh, $329. I think this is slightly overpriced since it only shoots at 975 feet per second. The gun comes with a 3 to 9 by 40 scope and has a total length of 44 inches. I don't know what the quality of the gun is, but I think you can get something cheaper and get the job done much more quicker and cheaper. If the if this gun came in at around $130 or $140, I might consider it being in 6th or 7th place, but it just seems a bit, little bit expensive for what you're getting compared to the, some cheaper rifles. The ninth gun of the month is the Crossman Shockwave Nitro Piston coming in at $125. This gun has a synthetic ambidextrous stock and a 15 inch barrel. It shoots at 950 feet per second and comes with a 4x32 center point scope. The gun weighs 6 pounds and the reason I put it in 9th place is because yes, $125 is a bit more than the Trail MP. The gun just seems a bit cheaper in quality but it's still a very decent gun nonetheless. The 10th place winner or the gun that takes 10th place this month is a Benjamin Prowler Nitro Piston that costs $120 which is a very decent price. This gun comes with a 4x32 center point scope, and you still haven't noticed, most of the guns that come from Crossman or Benjamin come with this 4x32 center point scope. So the, this gun shoots at 950 feet per second, and the reason I put it in 10th place is that it weighs 6.4 pounds, which is 0.4 pounds heavier than the Crossman Shockwave. I think it really just comes down to whether you want to go with Crossman or Benjamin, because most of these guns are starting to look very similar to each other. Most of the guns I've listed by Crossman and Benjamin have a 15 inch barrel, shoot at 950 feet per second, and they come with a 4x32 scope by center point. It might be the same base gun, but with a different stock and logo, but really, they all seem similar. If you want to go with Benjamin Prowler, go for it. I'm not saying you shouldn't go for it, but and instead go for a Shockwave or Phantom, I'm just saying, go with the gun that suits your needs. Alright, so now it's time to go over the Canadian air guns. Unfortunately, I haven't scripted any of this. I've only written my notes down, so I'm going to have to go off my notes and why I picked these guns. So, I'm going to kind of have to wing this. Anyways, for first place, I'm going to give it to a gun that's Spring Piston. And that's going to go to the Ruger Air Magnum Combo, 0.22 cal, shoots at 1,200 uh, yeah, 1, feet per second, which is pretty good. I mean, it is a spring, it's not Nitro Piston, which kind of sucks for hunting, but, you know, you, you kind of, you, you lose some to gain some, I guess. And it does come with a 4x32 scope, and it weighs 42 pounds in total. Oh, no, actually it doesn't. It weigh, uh, the cocking effort is 42 pounds, which is a bit, but uh, it's definitely manageable. The weight is 7.95 pounds, so it, you see it doesn't weigh 42 pounds. And uh, it's got a 48.5 inch total length, and it comes at $220 with a 19.5 inch barrel. Got a long barrel. It's got a high FPS, so it's. I mean, it's spring. You can't really do anything about that. But I mean, it's a good deal. Like, I, I think I think I would get this gun if I were to buy another 22. Probably be one of the first guns this month if I were going to get one. But the second gun, which is very similar to mine, uh, mine is. A has a slightly higher FPS of 1,100, FP, uh, 1100 FPS with certain pellets. Um, and yeah, that, that gun is the Benjamin Titan Nitro Piston Brake Barrel at, that shoots at 100 feet per second. It comes at $200 and it has a hardwood stock, center point 4x32 millimeter scope, and it weighs 
and seven over eight pounds or 44 and it has a 44 and a half pound oh i mean 44 and a half uh wait no sorry the length is 44 and a half inches and it's got a 15 inch barrel like i said this isn't scripted i'm going off my notes so please bear with me i'm running short on time to make this video so yeah the third uh the third place winner is the crossman nitro venom dusk 0.22 cal it's a nitro piston shoots at 950 feet per second has an ambidextrous synthetic stock tops at 230 dollars with a 4x32 center point scope remove that and it's got a 44.75 uh, inch total length with and it comes at 7.4 pounds you can also get the hardwood version for 254 dollars you know this gun i put it in um or 255 dollars sorry i put it in third place since it does cost quite a bit and like like in canada it's it's hard you don't well it's not that it's hard but it's, you have a very limited selection of what guns you can get in 22 so that's why i've only got five i mean really at, the, at one point just the same models just different different stocks and branding so yeah the fourth place which is actually the second place winner in the united states is crossman phantom 22 and this is just rifle by the way it's a crossman phantom 22 cal air rifle coming at 950 feet per second what is a 4 by 32 centimeter sorry 4 by 3 4 by 32 millimeter scope by center point and it's nitro piston it has a 6.1 pound total weight or 2.7 kilograms and it has a 44 inch total length or 15 inch barrel length and it comes in a synthetic stock you know that this gun is uh, i've had a 177 version in this with a more downgraded um piston and it works very well i mean it's it's very reliable and it's very simple to use and operate it's a very simple system so you know this gun's going to be good you might be able to get raccoons with it if you get the 950 feet per second version in 22 it's got a lot of power anyways the last gun doesn't co come doesn't actually this gun, it doesn't come with the 4x32 millimeter center point scope. It doesn't. It's called the Crossman Optimus. It comes at $200 and it shoots at 950 feet per second, has an ambidextrous uh, stock, and it's made out of hardwood. It's spring piston, which kind of sucks, and that's why I put it in last place. Um, it doesn't come with a, with a scope and it's spring piston, so compared to all the other guns, it's going to go in last place since it does cost $200. And, but the good thing about this gun, it's got an 18.75 inch barrel, which is the longest barrel I think I've seen from Crossman so far on their rifles, which is pretty good. And yeah, that's basically it for the top 10 best and cheapest hunting air rifles in 22 that have nitro piston in the United States and top five in Canada. So yeah, like I said, there's not that much in Canada, like in selection. I went on airgunsource.ca for these pictures, as well as cabalas.ca, and I also use airgundepot.com, and I think that was about it. If I'm missing any other sources, I'll leave them on the screen right now, and also, or in the description, sorry. And I've also, just say thank you for watching this video. Please, if you have any suggestions, sorry, eh, suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I'll read them, and if you have any information on these guns, if you've bought them personally and like to share information, with them please leave them down in the comments below for other people to read them yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i try to make it better and yeah i think that's about it i'll see you guys in the next one and uh, take care bye bye